This is what a successful swarm capture looks like. So the swarm was on the ground. It must have fallen off this tree right here. And there was a big ball of bees that were swarming around. So we put a, uh, a deep super and a shallow super. The deep has one uh, drawn out uh, frame and the, on the shallow we've got uh, three frames of honey. And look at them marching up that ramp. This is something that I've always heard about, but I've never seen before. It looks like they're all moving right into this hive. I don't know how they've figured out, but everybody, it's like follow the leader. Everybody's going right up in there. It's incredible to see. We're just very lucky we were walking by here and we heard the, the swarm. I was like, do you hear the bees? We went over, there's a big cloud of bees and they all ended up right on the ground here. So after a quick uh, quick trip to our supplies, this is what we get. Mass bee migration. We built them a little ladder there, as you can see, with a piece of old wood, and they're just going right up it. It's amazing. Very few bees are buzzing around us or anything. Got one checking us out every once in a while, but you know, I'm wondering if the key wasn't that uh, some of the, the shallow frames were leaking a little bit of honey. We had them in the freezer, so um, I'm sure that they're all in there already, trying to capture that honey and find a place for it. So. And these were our bees that came out of a hive that we were supposed to split earlier this year, but of course being more bee havers than bee keepers, uh, we didn't get around to it. But we're kind of uh, let the bees, we're natural beekeepers, we just let them do what they want to do. We're not trying to make money off of them or anything, but it's fascinating to watch them do this um, type of behavior and uh, really lucky to get to see it. What's that? Didn't think what? We didn't think the ladder was gonna work. It, there were just a couple that were flying in and out of the, the entrance there on the landing board and, and then uh, all of a sudden it was like somebody got the message and they all started moving up en masse. At first it was a trickle but within about a minute you see the kind of movement that that you see here uh, once they figured it out and decided this was what they wanted to do. Not sure where the uh, where the queen is in there obviously. But it's a good sized swarm. Let's hope they accept it and I'm just gonna try to get a few other angles here, get down on the ground. got kind of backlit now you can't see it quite as well but you get the picture though wondering how long it's going to take for all of them to march up there it's a lot of bees I'm just gonna sit here and film what I'm really curious about is what happens at the end who's the last one up this could take a while. We always heard about this ladder technique working, but man, it's something I see it in action. Is that pile getting smaller? Can you tell? Yeah. Visibly? Yeah, we still have not a lot of not a lot of bee activity coming around. You can see the day. What do you think? It's like 78, 77, yeah, like 76, or 76 degrees, something like that. But not a lot of flying going on anymore.
they're very, you know, the, the mass of bees on the ground is very defined edges. There's not a lot of, you know, it's within a couple inches of thickness on, around the edges. What's that? This started maybe two minutes before I got the camera on it, in case you're wondering how long it took. You know, it, the, the mass migration, like you see here, took about two minutes from like I was describing earlier, but unfortunately uh, Jennifer was on her phone and I don't have my phone with me, so it took this long to, it took about two minutes to get to where I started filming. They seem to be stopping a little, uh, not stopping, but slowing down a little bit. But I bet that honey dripping in there really has them thinking that this might be a good place to spend some time. But not everybody has frozen frames of honey in their freezer, I guess. Well, this is going to take a very long time. I'm not going to keep filming. I'll try to come back to it as it's dwindling out here. But uh, A++, really enjoying this.